a terrific finale to this all-important day at the Scottish Open underway in style. Ronnie O'Sullivan with a century, 104. To take the opening frame against Mark Allen. Allen won't be thrilled with the break-off, particularly the way O'Sullivan was queuing in that first frame. Picking up where he left off. Good shot. He was a little square on the, the brown there, but he played it beautifully. Five. And it was, of course, always heading down towards the reds. He's a fine start from O'Sullivan. Six. <coughs> Thirteen. Yes, whatever problems O'Sullivan has had with his tip during the course of this tournament, they seem to have been rectified. Yes, I think Leanne Wenbo, in fact, I know Leanne Wenbo has just won on the other table, beating Barry Hawkins, too. Players have enjoyed the home nation so far, because Wenbo winning the English Open in Manchester. Barry Hawkins runner up in Belfast in the Northern Irish. But Wembo through again. And he will play either Udalu or Sean O'Sullivan in the quarters. Yeah, Udalu won that match, I think, in the end, so an all Chinese clash. Twenty nine. Thirty. Thirty-seven. Thirty-eight. Gave that a bit extra to get topside, and it gives him a whole host of options. He probably, if he's going into them, he'd probably like to just go into them to the right of where the pink is, into that little group. Yeah, that's a good shot. That's beautifully played. He's so good at breaking the bunch. There's a bit of luck in it, but a lot of skill. Just the target was not the pink, just to the right of it there. And that really held the cue ball in the middle of the table, most importantly. And that's well cued also. 44. All of this, the result of that loose break-off from Mark Allen, leaving a red out for O'Sullivan. Big moment just now, by the way, in the match between Neil Robertson and Marco Fu, who's one frame four on 57. a tie-break black. So instead of 3-1 Robertson, it's two apiece. Fu having made his seventh century of the tournament, his fourth today in the opening frame, a 1-4-1 one, one before Robertson won frames two and three. So that match very much up for grabs. We need to play the Mark Williams and Mark Davis. 65. Yeah, I mean, we're spot for choice, aren't we? Uh, the standard, but right now it's O'Sullivan in, in full cry, which is a, always a joy to watch. Well, whoever put on 
And his latest tip could be in line for a bonus, I think. This one is working very satisfactorily. Well, it was tour player Fraser Patrick who did it, a friend of Alan McManus. I don't think Ronnie and Fraser are, you know, they don't know each other that well, but uh, might become good friends, I think, because he's put on a beautiful tip. Apparently he's uh, renowned in these parts for that. Good player himself. 81. And if you asked Ronnie how this tip is at the moment, he'd probably say, nah, not bad. <laughs> back to back centuries looming. 87. Okay. Just okay. Bit of ambidextrous snooker. For good measure. This really is vintage O'Sullivan. Mark Allen's only had a couple of shots. He must feel as though he's not started 95. the match yet. He's already 2-0 down. 96. Absolutely brilliant. This is why he fills auditoriums. 103. It's special stuff. The crowd loving it. Oh. 104 in the opening frame. 103 in the second. Ronnie O'Sullivan in top gear already. And Mark Allen has to somehow find a way to stem the tide. Otherwise, this match could be over very quickly. O'Sullivan, 2-0 up. 